Today, we got more Alder Lake news. Some good, some bad, and some hot. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. So it looks like this is the Alder Lake week or something, because that's pretty much been the main subject of all of my videos recently. We've talked about performance, we talked about core configs, power limits, power consumption, but we never really talked about price, except for saying that this would be the uh, determining factor in Intel's success. Unfortunately, Intel has always thought of itself as premium, and if they could win in a single segment like gaming, then the prices would be through the roof. For example, even if it really only won in gaming, the 8-core 9900K was still priced as high as AMD's 12-core 3900X, even though the AMD part destroyed Intel in most tasks. And their top-of-the-line 8-core CPUs of today still have a suggested price of around $550, even if they don't sell at that price. So, what do you think that Intel did for Alder Lake? Well, we got a leak. Micro Center just uh, listed the two top of the line CPUs by mistake, and the prices are good. The i9 12900K is to be priced at $670 US. And some guy was even able to get his hands on one for about $610 US. So price may slightly vary, but that's a whopping minimum of $130 less than AMD's 5950X. And as you might have already heard from the leaks, it's gonna beat it in single core performance by a lot and probably match it in multi-core. By the way, this is what the box looks like. It's a good old box, but inside is a round gold wafer case where you'd find the CPU. It's fine, but I definitely prefer the 9900K's uh, dodecahedron case, this one right here. And then there's the 12700K. This one is $470. This one is only $70 less than the 5900X, but once again, it beats it in single core by quite a lot. And it's a little slower in multi-core, but not by much. Honestly, at this point, if I was in the market for a new complete system, Intel would be a really good option. AMD's AM4 socket is on its last legs, and their next generation CPUs are the last to be supported by current motherboards. So there's no more advantage of going AMD for socket longevity. And in this specific case, I would have one more generation with Raptor Lake if I really wanted to upgrade one year later. Apparently, Raptor Lake is gonna go up to 24 cores and 32 threads, but anyways, the super high end isn't really what I'm interested in. I'm a budget guy, and seeing that Intel's two top of the line CPUs will be priced competitively means that their mid-range CPUs should too. And that means that the 12600K and 12400 will probably have an insane bang for the buck. We talked about how the 12400 could be the best budget CPU on the last video. Now sure, you could wait for AMD's 3D vCache models, but I don't expect them to be be cheaper than current Zen 3 CPUs. I mean, it wouldn't make sense unless AMD was really trying to undercut Intel. The only factor that would turn me off completely from an Intel all system is power draw, because like we saw in an earlier video, their high-end chips with a TDP of 125 watts can consume around twice that continuously in reality. Oh, and also another note with Intel's 12th gen, there's something widely different with the uh, temperature management. Instead of the CPU starting to throttle at 100 degrees C, this one seems to have quite a higher ceiling, 115 degrees Celsius to be exact, before the CPU starts to throttle. That's pretty high, but it does mean that if you go with a 12th gen CPU, you're gonna need to A, either upgrade your cooler, or B, uh, shift that mentality of my CPU needs to stay below 80 degrees Celsius, because that might prove to be difficult with Alder Lake. It doesn't mean that it's a bad CPU, just means that it might run hot. And lastly with Intel, it looks like their CEO, Pat Gelsinger, is now Gelsinging, ah uh, yeah, okay, stop, is now singing the same tune as AMD and then NVIDIA's CEO. Both the green and red team leaders have said that the chip shortage would likely continue through the entirety of 2022. And now we have Intel CEO saying the same thing, adding that next year, things will get incrementally better, but there won't be a supply demand balance until 2023. So yeah, that's a trifecta of confirmation. 
Moving on, let's do the free game check. This week on the Epic Store, you can get Among the Sleep Enhanced Edition. Now I know that it's a four-year-old remaster of a six-year-old game, but when it's spooky season, a free spooky game is just appropriate. Plus, it's got great reviews. In any case, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you want to talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Just give it a moment. It's going to appear now. I don't know. It snows behind the camera. You, the editing snows. You better figure it out. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I mean, I try, but I can't really. I mean, the love was sink, but the drop heavy. Would last forever, January. I kind of expected it to be sturdy.